Hey guys, and welcome to the Sons of Light. I'm your host, Daniel Collier. As you know, we have launched a new channel and also launched a new television show for you to watch. It is called The Search For. It, as you know, this channel has been suppressed in its reach and limitations to viewers because certain things were mentioned on this channel that the oppressors do not want you to know. So we encourage you, here is a trailer to the new show, The Search For, and we're asking all of our viewers to also subscribe to the new channel and our new show. We will continue to put videos on this channel, but we would also like to reach more people with some different subject matter. Please enjoy the trailer to this new show, The Search For, and on this one specifically called Geo-Engineered Storms, the fact that our weather is being manipulated and weaponized against us in our own country. Who is doing this? Well, welcome to the show today, The Search For. I'm your host, Daniel Collier. And today we are looking into a most fascinating and peculiar story is it real? Now, after the past Hurricane Helene that hit the United States, it is one of the most devastating hurricanes to ever hit America. And what is becoming a quite unusual and questioning pattern that many people are starting to look at is not that it's a geo storm of the century, but possibly a geo engineered storm. As we look into this story today, are we looking at the possibility that someone, a huge corporation, something like Spectre from a James Bond movie, is interfering with the United States uh, economy, the weather, the politics, the food, everything involving our lives for a particular reason. This is speculative, but there are many things that are bringing up quite a lot of conspiracy theorist thought. Stay tuned today as we look at and examine the possibility of geoengineering and the storms escalating to the point of devastating because the number one factor bringing up questions from California fires to Maui fires to geoengineered storms is the immediate rollout of the idea in the publications in the mainstream media of smart cities replacing the ones devastated. That is the number one question that is on people's minds. Since the beginning of time, humans have been at the mercy of the weather. From catastrophic hurricanes to relentless droughts, nature has wielded power that can shape civilizations. But what if humanity has found a way to control these natural forces, not for the betterment of mankind, but for destruction? Today, we explore the controversial topic of weather modification. Could secret programs and technologies be manipulating the weather in ways we can barely comprehend? And if so, who stands to benefit, and who stands to lose? One of the most talked about weather modification projects is HARP, the High Frequency Active Auroral Research Program. Officially, HARP's goal was to study the ionosphere, the electrically charged portion of the Earth's atmosphere. But theories abound that its true purpose may be far more sinister. Many believe HARP was designed to control weather patterns by targeting areas of the ionosphere with high-frequency radio waves. These waves, they claim, can heat sections of the atmosphere, altering jet streams, influencing weather, and even triggering storms. Is this merely a scientific experiment, or could HARP be used as a weapon? But HARP isn't the only technology suspected of weather control. Many are turning their attention to the countless cell phone towers spread across our cities and rural landscapes. These towers, officially designed for telecommunications, are thought by some to have dual purposes. In addition to transmitting cell signals, certain models may be equipped with technology that influences the weather on a local level. The equipment, often referred to as atmospheric heaters or ionization devices, is believed to interact with the atmosphere, intensifying winds, or even directing storm systems. Some speculate that by emitting specific frequencies, these towers could alter atmospheric pressure or disrupt moisture patterns. While official sources deny this capability, there's an increasing number of curious weather anomalies that seem to coincide with the proliferation of this technology. Could the tools for weather control be hidden in plain sight, disguised as everyday infrastructure? To understand where these theories come from, we must look to history. Right. After what we are seeing is a pattern going on from fires happening in Malibu, in California, where you see on radar that is released to the public through private individuals, 
you find that you see things that look like directed energy beams hitting in places and then fires that melt unusually melt car tire rims they melt uh they melt entire structures to the ground except the oddity of those with a blue roof fire does not skip over homes with blue roofs brown roofs red roofs it just burns everything it can burn why would homes with blue roofs get skipped why boy that escalated quickly i mean that really got out of hand fast it jumped up a notch it did didn't it let me ask you something have you ever seen a headline and thought there's got to be more to this everybody has and nowadays especially what if you could dig a little deeper into it and find out stuff nobody's talking about so here's the deal i've got this formula i created and it's been back engineered based off of how let's say secret people create scenarios for you to follow it's kind of like your own personal conspiracy script writer you take any mainstream story you plug it in and boom it spits out an alternative explanation that's so spot on you might start to question reality yourself. Now, here's where it gets fun. When you combine it with AI, it's like having a superpower. You can whip up these crazy X-File level theories in just seconds. Use it for blog posts, use it for podcasts, you can use it for videos, or just to mess with your own head. The best part is, it's so good, it might even convince your woke friend. Ha, maybe. But look, it's all for entertainment, mostly. So if you're curious, if, you're like, if you like to live outside the box, or if you just want to see what they may not want you to see, you can check it out below. It is what we use for most of our alternative theories in our podcast and our videos, because it is the formula that possibly someone uses to pull the wool over the world's eyes. You're going to love this formula. Get it in the link below. You get a video that comes along with the training and proof behind it, as well as your own copy to use to become like Sherlock Holmes for all the things that you question and want answers about. It's a lot of fun and it answers a lot of serious questions you've been wondering about. I wish there was just one book out there, Conspiracy Chimp, that would tell us everything we wanted to know. Ooh, 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 ooh. I, no, Conspiracy Chimp, stop bugging me. I'm, ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm trying to figure out if there's a book that will tell all of this Rothschild conspiracy stuff. Conspiracy Chimp, you are all weak. Just eat a banana, leave me alone. Oh, you're stupid. Oh, oh. You smart monkey. Get the book Reason to Believe. Link in the description for comments. Oh, oh, oh. Smart monkey. Reason to Believe. Know all the answers. Reason to Believe. A serious book for smart monkeys. No normies were injured in the making of this ad. Well, hello there. I'm Nick, and I have a question for you. Have you ever been so woke? You were asleep? This is my special story. Stay tuned. You're going to love it. Hello. Hey, Dan. Yeah, how's mom? Yeah. Yes, I got the book. I have a Harvard PhD. You know this. And if there's anything at that school that we needed to know about things, they would have taught us. Besides, this conspiracy stuff you're always talking about, if the government knew about this, they would tell us. I gotta go. Bye. Call me like a thousand times. You have never mentioned to this. Did you know that the Rockefellers in the 1960s they had an advertisement with the Rockefeller on there, and his watch hands were on 9-11, and how is that even possible? Uh, you know you did not tell me. I gotta go by. Oh my god, I gotta fact check that. Oh, they had answered the phone, answered the phone. I I'm reading in this book about the United Nations, and all of these people involved, at the highest level, they were all Luciferian. Is someone listening to the phone? To the end of the day. To the end of the day. Hey Dan, it's Nick. Your brother Nick. No, what do you mean? There's nothing wrong with my voice. Look, this book I've been telling you to read, did you know that the Beatles were secretly involved in some serious stuff? They had Aleister Crowley on their album cover. He was the wickedest man who ever lived. No, you, I'm telling you about it. You've never said a word about this stuff to me. It's all in this book I kept telling you to read. This reason, you did not say I ordered the book. Anyway, listen, man, I'm going to meet you and tell you about this. You need to learn all about this stuff. All right, got to go. Get your copy of Reason to Believe. Link in the description below. No woke people were harmed in the making of this video.